Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 6 of Stranger Things entitled The Monster. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, Twitch stream, and everything in between our main core group of kids. They're kind of separating right now. A little bit of internal turmoil, all blaming on L. Jonathan that lost Nancy out in the woods because she just went to the other side of fucking West Gondor. Uh, Joyce and Harper now know they're on the same team. We'll take it from there. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Let's watch. Also, they're blaming Barbara. They found Barbara's car and said it was a runaway. Where are you? They moved her car over to a bus station. Dude, that sucks. Nancy! Oh, she can hear that stuff on the other side. And I imagine that Demigorgon can move freely between the realms. That makes the most sense. I wonder if she'll run into Will. I'm right here. I'm right here. Nancy! Just fall. See, now she has to get with the kids and say, I know what to do, what y'all are trying to do, bro. I just walked out. Oh, my fuck. There you go, brother bear. Oh, I thought that shit was closing. Stick your hand out and grab her by the ankle and pull her ass back in. Why'd you have to go and make things so constipated? Grab her hand, fuck boy. Flex and bust out. Oh. I don't think y'all are in the clear. I got you. There you go. He said, I got you, baby. Okay, now that tree's actually closing up in the background. Nope, because I'm marking that fucking thing. I'm going to pee on it something. Let, let people know that I've been to this one. Stranger Things. By the Duffy Brothers. Little Duffer brother, brother, brother. Chapter 6, The Monster. M -m 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 monster. Monster. It was the mesh. The m -m 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 monster man. It was a, it was a graveyard it smash. Want to talk to you. It's not what you think, Steve, bro. See, you up here snooping, thinking you're doing something cool. And it's not what you think, man. It's not what you think. Not to take away from the seriousness of the moment, but if he just would have took a second and been like, is he throwing cabbages? <laughs> would have been a really nice touch, but it would have took away from the seriousness. Then he died. Earl said he saw some kid with a shaved head with Benny. Now, I pressed him. He said it might be Will, but maybe... Maybe it wasn't. Look, maybe it was 11. Now they got to find 11. She claims to have lost her daughter, Jane. She sued Brenner. She sued the government. Now the claims came to nothing. But what if... I mean, what if this whole time I've been... I've been looking for Will. I've been chasing after some other kid. Those are the best showers right there, bro. Getting that fucking dirt off of you. You shower with your ring on? I feel it. He's a, I get his awkwardness, this type of person he is, but it's also very wholesome, very sweet. Made himself a little palate. I like it. She gonna ask him to lay in the bed? This man found a whole sleep, I, I couldn't tell you last time I've been in a sleeping bag. Have him come up there, bro, y'all go butt to butt. This man gonna sleep with the, be careful with that one jerk in your sleep, you're gonna blow a hole through your nipple. I'm not going to lie. I would 100%. I get you want me to lay up there with you. And I respect. All of it. But. 
I'm gonna need me just a little bit of even if I'm gonna need a little bit of a blanket, okay? Now this mean I have to get under there with you. But at least give your boy a blanket. I don't think I could do a sleeping bag. It gets too fucking hot and you're trapped inside of it. You can't like kick a leg out or nothing. I think my sleeping bag days are over. When I was a kid, I'd lay on top of the sleeping bag with another blanket on top of me. Every time I close my eyes, I just see a fucking demon. And we need, you don't want to tell your mom, you don't want to tell, you don't want to tell uh, fucking Mama Byers because of everything she's been through, but you need to tell her because she's talking to Hopper, and you can talk to Hopper, and you can all talk, and one of you, uh, Nancy, talk to one of the kids. Please. I think that it lives there. Because Mike's in the basement right now, throwing a fit. Calm down. I shouldn't have yelled at him. I never should have done this. Mike, this isn't your fault. Yeah, it's Lucas's. Wasn't his fault either. I agree. It wasn't his fault? No. So you're saying he wasn't way out of line? Totally, but so were you. What? And so was Eleven. Oh, give me a break. All no, of you. You give me a break. Yeah. All three of you were being a bunch of little assholes. Bunch of little. The only reasonable one. But the bottom line is... I agree. You push first. And you know the rule. You draw first blood. No. No way. I'm not shaking his hand. You're shaking his hand. No, I'm not. This isn't a discussion. This is the rule of law. Obey or be banished from the party. Do you want to be banished? No. Good. Yeah, then you're gonna shake his hand, Dingle Doug. Where are we going? Where do you think? We're going to get Lucas, and then we're gonna find Eleven. I know this is a flashback. This is probably right around the time she escaped. That drawing's there, stuffed animal. Remember what happened on the Bloodstone Pass? We couldn't agree on what path to take, so we split up the party, and those trolls took us out one by one, and it all went to shit, and we were all disabled! So we stick together, no matter what. Yeah, I agree. I like this it. This is the party right here in this room. Elle's one of us now. Um, no, she's not. Yeah, she is. Not even close. The big thing for Lucas alone. is going to be accepting her. Yeah. A traitor? She's just trying to keep us safe. She didn't mean to hurt you. It was an accident. An accident? All right, accident or not, admit it. It was a little awesome. It was awesome? Yeah, she threw you in the air with her mind. I think it's pretty I fucking awesome. I've been killed. Which is exactly why we need her. She's a weapon. Do you seriously want to fight the A WMD? This rocket? That's like R2-D2 going to fight Darth Vader. We're no use to Hey, Vader would wreck R2 shit. You two want to waste your time looking for a traitor? Go ahead. Well, I ain't never in my day seen nothing like that. That little thing got a fucking nosebleed. Y'all got a goddamn staring problem, every one of you. I don't I don't think I'm gonna pay for those. 88 cent turkeys? Rump roast a dollar? I'm not fucking walked out straight up. I didn't know eggs were around that long. She ain't give a damn. That's a lot of frozen. But how you gonna cook them though? She could probably heat him up with her mind if she tried hard enough. Who's nice ass, big ass, fuck ass, whole ass house is this? Both start punching and yelling at each other like goblins with intelligence scores of zero. Now everything's weird. He's not my best friend. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, he is, but so are you. Yeah, you're all so best friends. Can't have yeah. More than one best friend. Yeah, you can. Says logic. Why well, call bull on your logic? Because you're my best friend, too. Okay. Oh, that made him happy. That was fucking wholesome. Whoa. You can have more than one best friend. You don't think so. Bro, getting one of them bells on on your bike, the little ching ching right there, just ting ting ting. So good, so good, so lit. A simpler time. Someone's washing from the bushes. She was at a party for me, Freddie, and I called. Do you have any pictures of her? I don't think you guys understand. Terry miscarried in the third trimester. Well, that puts a fucking. She keeps all this up. Oh. For 12 years. Terry uh, pretends like Jane is real. Like she's going to come home someday. Says she's special. Born with abilities. 
Abilities. It's 11, Jane. Oh. Well, like I said, you and Terry would have gotten along. Creepy ass fucking clowns laying around there. Bro, is 11 uh, uh, Jane's daughter? Or is Jane? Jane is 11. It's fucking. I don't forgot her name. Terry, Nancy, Terry, Mary. I don't even want to know how much money that'd be in today's money. You know, last week, I was shopping for a new top I thought Steve might like. Nancy! Did they put her name up at the, is it a movie theater or something? Somebody said we could get that off there before we open. Wow. Wow. Steve, you ain't nothing but a baby back little bitch, bro. Cause that was the movie you wanted to take her to go see. I was worried about you. She believed that I was actually worried about you. What are you talking about? Would it lie if I were you? You don't want to be known as the lying slut. Now. I don't like that girl. Speak as a devil. I don't like that dude either. Hi. West Side Story ass motherfuckers, bro. You came by last night. Ding ding ding. I'm, I mean, I'm not even Jonathan, surprised what happened to your brother. It. I'm sorry, I have to be the Steve, one to tell shut you about the fire. Their family is a Come disgrace on. to the entire family. Damn, right hook. Oh. Hey, you still got that gun on him? And you ain't gonna talk about my brother like that, dude, especially with all that shit going on. Kick his ass, man. Kick his ass, man. Fuck, dude. Come on, bro, fight. Yeah, right hook, right hook. Fuck it, bro. Nah, beat his ass. You talk about his you talk about his mom. You talk about his fucking shitty ass dad. You talk about his little brother. Whip his ass. My nose. Get out. I got this one. Cardio's trash, bro. You can't run that down. He's supposed to go monster hunting. Jonathan over here beating the shit out of fucking Stephen Harrington, whatever his name is. And you know what? Kudos to Jonathan. You probably been taking shit like that your whole life. You have somebody call you a little, uh, a little slur like that. Then you turn around and swing on him. Talking about your mother. Talking about fuck your father, first of all. I'm talking about your mother. And then talking about your little brother. Mm -mm. Nope. Good. Talk shit, get split, hippie. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Maybe that's a good moment for Steve, man. Maybe it'll help open his eyes up to the reality of the situation. Are you out here eating frozen, thawed ass, ego wego waffle toffles? Well, if it isn't fucking dumb and dumber, I mean, got a switchblade. You made me piece myself, so I done brought my switchblades. I cut you up, make me be myself. That's basically what he said, and just a lot less words. Just keep going. Y'all got hella cardio. My man got a cramp, bro. That's how you know he's working out. You running with the blade? What if you fell on that shit with your eyeball? That's how you know you're not right. Shit. I call bullshit on that. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Oh, that's that. That's a hell of a throw. That's that jump they were talking about. This motherfucker. Hey, Eleven, come catch him. Holy shit. Oh, he stopped. Okay. I bet that brother's sorry. Flying. I'm telling you, bro, because he just would have died. If Troy and Dipshit both piss themselves right now, I'd cry laughing. Back up for my friends, freaking frack, dumb and dumber. 
Don't walk up on me. Oh, broke his arm. At least she didn't kill you, idiots. Don't touch that slimy, slippery fucking thing. Look at its back. It's all wet and shit. It's not even sweating. Oh. Oh, you made contact. See, y'all done fucked up. So see the oh. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? No. Oh. Get the ketchup out of her ears. <laughs> he said, "I want to be a part of this too. I want to be y'all's friend." That's wholesome as fuck, bro. That is, I, come on. That's too wholesome. Love to bring a tear to your eye. Y'all gotta figure out where the fuck Lucas is, though. I have eyes on him now. They're heading home. I didn't trust Paul Blart for a single goddamn second. Y'all getting out SMGs, UMPs, Uzis, Big Lizzies, hand pump action, handle slandles for a little girl, for a kid. Yeah, she got superpowers and can probably snap your whole shit up with three blinks of an eye, but like. I was gonna say, watch the episode in when they shut the door. Ooh, brother, them cops are in hot pursuit. The monster. They tell Elle she's the monster, but that's not the case. A frantic Jonathan looks for Nancy in the darkness, but Steve's looking for her. Wait, but Steve's looking for her too. Hopper and Joyce uncover the truth about the lab's experiments. So they uncover the truth, all right. So I don't... I don't think... Eleven is... I mean, she could be Terry's daughter. That could be Jane. But for some reason, I just don't think so. But I think she has some sort of connection to her. In some weird way. I don't know what. It'd be interesting to learn. But... Nancy and Jonathan kind of growing their connection, whether it ends up being platonic or it ends up being an actual relationship. Steve saw nothing, overreacted, and got his ass beat for it. Talk shit, get split, bro. Kids, they fuck up, pull up with a switchblade for making you get uh, peeing your pants, and they wanted the kid to commit suicide? No, sir. Absolutely not. Eleven shows up. I'm glad she shut that down. They have their bonding moment. I like Mike telling him, hey, we're all best friends. We got to find Will. We gotta find Will. You're my best friend. Will's my best friend. Lucas is my best friend. Right now, Lucas off doing his own thing, looking up, scoping out. Paul Blart Mall Cops out here snitching people out. So they're on the way to the house right now at the moment. Hopper and Joyce need to get to Jonathan and Nancy, who need to get to Mike, Dustin, Lucas, and Levin. Because Hopper needs to get to Eleven. Pseudo connection there. He found her room. That's the kid you're looking for. Is Jane any factor of this? Is anybody concerned that Barbara's fucking gone? They really think she ran away? They had the, the car out at the bus station? No. Piece it together. We know she didn't. They're going Monster Hunter. They got to set bear traps. How are they going to do it? They have two episodes to figure this shit out. They call that stuff there the bath, basically. So she has to figure out a way. Mm. Mm. So when she goes into these things like she normally does, but this time they saw the monster. When she interacted with the monster... The monster interacted back, and that opened up a gateway. He was sitting there eating a whole placenta egg. You touch that, eating a whole ass fucking testicle ovary. Opens up everything. So now that thing's there. That's causing the disruption. She did technically open the gate. That's probably when she escaped was shortly after that. And that's when Will got taken because they were playing D&D &D that night. That's probably how it all panned out. I like it. Again... I don't think there's been any bad episodes. I think I like this episode a little more than everything else, though, because of how much it builds on, on all the different storylines. So episode six is entitled The Monster. 
Episode seven's entitled The Bathtub. So the bathtub and the bath. Ooh. Well, since they say bathtub, not the bath. They could try to do some inception shit to try to get uh to get Elle doing her thing. Okay. Okay. So season one, episode seven. Episode VII is entitled The Bathtub. I'll see you guys there. I'm going to have links and everything in the description box down below. A uh, playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.